Hey guys, Anthony Jones here with Brigade Boats. In today's video, I wanted to quickly show you how I like to remove foam from a John Boats bench seat. It's quick and easy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I do it. So this is our project today, guys. This is a 1436. It's a new customer build I've got going. And uh, I've already popped the top on this middle bench and got the foam out of it. Popped the top on this back bench, but save the foam for this tutorial video. I'm gonna show you how I do that in a second. But before I do, let me show you the footage of how I actually took the tops off these benches cleanly and effectively. So on the tops of these benches, I take inch and a half by inch and a half angled aluminum, and I just use that as a scribe to mark out an inch and a half in on the bench top. And uh, once I get it laid out, I cut it out with a circular saw. Nothing crazy here. It's, it's literally an old beat up wood framing blade, but it still cuts aluminum really nicely. Come back in with an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel, connect the corners, and then pop the top. And that's it. Real simple. So there you have it. Super easy, guys, to use that method. I've found that to be the best way to do it. I've tried a lot of different things, and a circular saw seems to be key. And now, in case you're wondering why I've left these sides the way that they are, is because I'm going to tab in my framing for my front deck into this. I'm going to reinforce this on the bottom and put a floor system in here. And I'm going to frame off this and add another hatch in front of this. And back here, we're actually going to put a live well inside of this rear bench. And as you can see, I've left enough aluminum to attach my angled that way and then tab back in. So just enough of a little lip. So when you go to do this, just try to give yourself a lip um, so you could attach your framing back into something. And lastly, before I show you how I gut this, I'm going to give you the speech on removing foam from your boat at your own risk. There's always that guy in the comments section that uh, preaches about buoyancy and safety and why these foam blocks are put in these benches. These blocks are put here for a reason from the factory. And that reason is if you were to take on water, a lot of water, these blocks would help keep your boat afloat longer. Or if you were to flip the boat over in the water, these will keep your boat from sinking or at least help. I don't know. I've never tested it. But with that said, guys, I'd like to say these two things. Number one, to add function and performance to your boat, there are pros and cons. To remove the foam, yes, you lose what is here from the factory and why it was intended to go there, but you gain a live well. You gain a storage hatch. Number two, we're really not losing anything because I'm adding a lot of foam back to the boat and a lot of my builds that will have foam floor systems, foam floors in the hatches, foam sidewalls, foam compartments. I imagine in this build, the foam I'm removing is gonna go back into it, but just in other areas in a different fashion. Oh, and one more final note, and then I'll shut up about all this. This foam is in good shape. A lot of times I pop the tops, foam is in bad shape, dry rotted, falling apart, wasp nest, hollow. Um, decomposed, turning into dust, or completely saturated and absorbed in water. So a lot of times the foam that's in there really needs to come out anyhow. It needs to be replaced. Um, but in this case, this is one of the rare instances where the foam is actually in good shape. Now, when you cut the top on these, a lot of times this foam completely fills the void. Therefore, what I'm saying is it runs under this lip and it runs under this lip and it runs under there. What I've come to realize is by leaving these lips to tie my framing back into, I can't pull the foam out in one piece. If you go all the way to the edge, then it'll just come right out. But you need to leave something to frame back into and that's the dilemma. A lot of guys will just come in here and start taking this out in chunks with no rhyme or reason and you have 50 million chunks and um, foam dust everywhere and it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, I've tried a few different things in the past with different saws, chisels, ways of prying it out in chunks. Heck, I've even used a chainsaw. But what I've come to learn is that this method with a recip saw and a really long blade and some sort of a uh, pry bar works really well. So let's get to it. I'm going to show you how to move this out in the least amount of pieces as possible um, to give you the least amount of a mess and headache. 
So first thing, I'm just gonna go right down the middle. Next, I'm gonna take my pry bar because this blade is not long enough to get all the way down through everything. I'm gonna go in. And I'm just gonna break this apart into two chunks. It's very simple. Now I can't get this out, obviously. It's under this lip and it's under this lip. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna cut it this way. Same deal. And sometimes when you break this apart, there'll be just enough room to get it out, but not in this case. So we're gonna do one more cut. So we're just gonna take this sliver out of the middle. Now I can slide this up and out. There's one piece, another piece, another piece. All right, super easy. Now I'm just gonna repeat the process on this side. Take out the middle sliver. And then these will come right out. Now this boat has another layer of foam in the bottom. And as you can see, there's some funky stuff going on there. And that's exactly what I'm talking about when this stuff starts to break down and decompose. And as you can see, that's no good. So that's it guys, very, very straightforward and simple. Literally just cut the top off with a circular saw um, and then use a recip saw to strategically cut the foam, pop it out in big chunks. And uh, that's it, man, super easy. Now we've got this bench gutted, this bench is gutted, and uh, time to kind of clean up the inside and move on the framing. Thanks for joining me guys. More to come on this boat in particular more good content to come on my channel you haven't subscribed consider subscribing we'll catch you on the next one